With a record number of people expected to watch tonight's presidential debate, well, it's pretty safe to say the candidates will be watched very closely for any blunders. So we're taking a look back at some of the more memorable debate moments, including mistakes that may have cost the elections for former candidates. With me now, my power political panel, Kurt Schlichter. He's a senior columnist for townhall.com. We've got Democrat strategist Kelly Grace Gibson. First up, in 1984, 73-year-old Ronald Reagan made a witty response to a question about his age. Walter Mondale would later describe it as, not only taking the age issue off the table, it could have cost him the race. Roll tape. I will not make age an issue of this campaign. I am not going to exploit, for political purposes, my opponent's youth and inexperience. <laughs> What do you think, Kurt? Could mistakes or one-liners could really help decide the debate winner? Oh, absolutely, Liz. I think that's, uh, you know, we know these two candidates. We both know that they are uh, somewhat truth-challenged. We both know that perhaps they don't fit our parties perfectly. So this is a lot more show than substance. And a good singer, a good one-liner... Uh, a memorable mistake, that's going to be what's the takeaway from this. That's what we're going to be talking about 25, 30 years from now. Yeah, and you know, Kelly, uh, basically what's happening is 25 million people fell out of the middle class into the lower classes, uh, lower brackets from 2008 to today. I mean, people are really hurting out there. They feel like Trump has the economic policies to grow the U.S. economy. Um, and then it's so is it really just going to be about one liners or zingers or is that all just a distraction? It's about who's yeah. got the plans to grow the U.S. economy. It's not going to be Obama yeah. 2.0, right? I think that I know. I think that it, it's a different comparison. It's fun to look back at old debates, but debating in 2016 is much different than debating at other times. You know, real time reviews and analysis of what they're doing in 140 characters at a time and fact checking and all this sort of stuff. You don't just end the debate and think back to the one thing they said that made a difference. These things are happening and people are talking about it as it goes. And you're right, it's a country who doesn't love their candidates so much, and it will make a big difference with their substances. The big thing about that, that tape you just rolled is political inoculation, inoculation is like the hardest thing to do. Yeah. And both, both Secretary Clinton and Mr. Trump have a lot of stuff they'd like to avoid, and they have a lot of stuff they'd like to put on each other. Yeah, that's a good point. They've spent millions of dollars yeah. messaging, and they want to just they want to reiterate that. So both inoculating and baking in their existing messages will be really on top of mind for them in addition to trying to prove right. what they're going to do for the American people. You know, they have a Kurt, lot to accomplish. Kurt, this feels like 1988. Hillary cannot underestimate <laughs> Donald Trump. Remember 1988, Michael oh, Dukakis yeah. was like, why am I losing to this guy? And look, at, yep. listen to this. In 2000, Democrat nominee Al Gore appeared to invade George W. Bush's personal space because Al Gore mistakenly thought George W. was a lightweight and that he shouldn't be in the same arena with him. Watch this. Roll tape. I can get something positive done on behalf of the people. That's what the question in this campaign is about. It's not only what's your philosophy and what's your position on issues, but can you get things done? And I believe I can. <laughs> So right there, it seemed like Al Gore was trying to intimidate Bush there. Um, and that didn't work. Are we going to see anything like that tonight? Is this a flashpoint, a dangerous zone for Hillary Clinton? Don't underestimate Donald Trump. It ab I think absolutely is, Liz. Hillary is a, uh, Hillary's a little bit arrogant. She never underestimates her own smarts. She thinks she's uh, uh, a lot uh, more versed in policy, and she thinks she's a lot more serious than Donald Trump. But Donald Trump has something she doesn't, which is a link, a communication with the people who feel they've been cut out by the very kind of people Hillary was out lecturing for a quarter million dollars for 20 minutes. Kelly, respond if to that. Donald Trump Kurt, talks yeah, to I mean, them. I Kurt think has a point there. Go ahead, yeah, Kelly. It is true. I mean, she does have more policy and political background and knowledge than Donald Trump. I mean, that's their resumes. But he is right that Donald Trump is a showman. He's good at it. But this is a different dynamic than the stage that he was on in the primary. There, there was this understanding of sort of a Republican base of understanding. Right. And this is important. This is a Democrat versus a Republican. And Donald Trump has never done this before. He's never been up against 100 million eyeballs yeah. being reviewed okay. for what, the, what kind of president he can be. This is, okay, we have they to, have leave to be there. show people. It's going to yeah. be about broad themes and economic yes. growth and how to turn this country around, not policy wonk details. Kurt and Kelly, you've been terrific tonight. Thank you so much.